All right, everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in Old San Juan again, but during the night. I want to walk around, around and show you guys how is Old San Juan during the night and during Christmas, especially during Christmas because they decorate um, with lights, as you can see. So I want to walk around. Uh, I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna try to walk all of Old San Juan. So join me on this adventure. Let's go. Oh yeah, so this is the first time I'm filming during the night. So I don't know how it's going to be the, the video because the GoPros are not that good filming at night. So if you're seeing this, it's because it was okay and it was acceptable. Let's see, let's cross the, cross the fingers that the, that the video is good. Okay, so Let's start by walking the Paseo La Princesa. Look at this tree. It's made of of, of balls of lights. Wow, look at this. I think that there's an activity on the weekend. So all of this of the Paso La Princesa is covered with these, um, I don't know how to say carpas. These are carpas, tents. Whoa. Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay, so that was the Paso de la Princesa. Let's go to the um, Plaza de Armas. It's this way. This place is good. It is called Bonds. Um, this is this is in their their first store. They have like four more, but I used to eat here a lot in the in the other ones. One in Condado and there's one in Guaynabo also. I have never been to this one, but they're good. They're beggars, by the way. <laughs> I didn't say. It. Oh, this spot has a has restaurants. I don't know how they are, but what I'm gonna tell you is that they are probably expensive because they are in a very touristy area. I have never eaten in one of these restaurants. Okay, uh, we're here. So I said the this is the is this is not Plaza de Arma. This is Plaza Colón. This is like the first plaza you will see when you oh 
when you enter the old San Juan. Oh, the lights are down in that one. Okay, now let's go to the Plaza de Arma, which is that way, that way, let's go. This is new, this is not Plaza de Arma, this is Plaza Salvador Bravo or something like that. That's something new that I have never seen here in San Juan. Okay, now this is Plaza de Arma. Ah, here's the big tree. Finalizada la guerra hispanoamericana y bajo el Tratado de París, España le entrega a los Estados Unidos de América sus últimas colonias en el Nuevo Mundo, Cuba y Puerto Rico. Al año siguiente llegan a esta plaza las tropas españolas y se despiden de la ciudad. Salen los residentes de San Juan a sus balcones y con pañuelo en mano dicen adiós a las tropas. Okay, so as you can see, that's a, that's a person um, in a statue costume and you leave him a tip and he will tell you and he will tell a story or a history of Puerto Rico. This is also a statue. And this, and this one.
Okay, let's go up to the to the totem and see and see if it's decorated. So fun fact, I used to work here. There was two, um, there, here was a pizzeria. I used to work here as a waiter, as a, as a waiter. Let me tell you that I didn't like it that much working here in Old San Juan because whew, getting here is a lot of traffic and the parking here in Old San Juan is awful. So I worked there like for like three months and I quit. <laughs> It's not decorated. <laughs> I thought that the, this was going to be decorated. I don't know why. It's not. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. But look at the morro at night. <laughs> no. You, you won't be able to see it. that we can enter here so this, this is called El Vallaja wow look at this right I'm in the middle let's do a 360 Pretty really nice. Okay, so the history of the Vallaja, it is called El Cuartel de Vallaja. It was constructed in between 1854 and 1864. And it, it was constructed by this by the Spaniards. And it was used for housing all the soldiers and their families. Here used to live around 1,000 soldiers. And that was something I didn't know. <laughs> okay, let's continue and see what we can find. I think that I got inside an activity that I'm not supposed to be in. <laughs> I don't know what what that, what that was. Okay, I'm thinking of going to a ladaria, to an ice cream shop. It's called Anita La Mama del Gelato. It has 4.9 stars and 833 reviews look so let's try it i have seen it before and um, it's like a fancy ice cream shop so i think that the prices are going to be high high very high Ooh. Oh, there's a huge line. Oh, wow, look at this. But this is the street of the Fortaleza. The Fortaleza is right at the end. Okay. 
Okay, now let's go get the ice cream. I had to get out of there because of the music. They have copyright music. Now I have to find a good spot. And the ice cream is melting. Okay. I think that this is a good spot with the light. I need light. Wow, it's melting. Okay. Wow. This is something of hazelnut crunch. I don't know. There were so many flavors that I didn't know what to choose. So I, cho I chose the first one that I tried. It is good, but it is expensive. Like I said, 7.28 Wow Okay, let's try it. It's melting. Is it like a waffle? Look Wow Oh man, it's such a small a small cup for all this ice cream. <laughs> okay. It has hazelnut. I think like that it is also crunch. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So it is expensive, but at least the ice cream is very good. I think that this is like a gelato actually, not ice cream. <laughs> that why that's why it's melting faster. I don't know. I I, I I actually actually don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, done. But I now I have my hands all sticky because of the ice cream. I hate that. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna finish the video here. I basically did uh, a loop around Old San Juan. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's, uh, Old San Juan is pretty nice to visit it at night, especially during Christmas. And it's starting, starting to rain. I was lucky that it was now, that it started to rain now. Oh man. All right. See you on the next adventure. Bye.